welcome friends today we are going to discuss oski of primatology let me start with the first case the first oski this is 30 year old female who complains of pain and swelling of small and large joints for last 3 months she also complains of early morning stiffness of more than 1 hour duration so you can see the image of her hand you can clearly see that her pip joints the proximal interphalangeal joints are swollen her metacarpophalangeal joints are also swollen and the dip joint completely spared so it is arthritis which is affecting the pip and the mcp joints so now let us uh, see what is the question uh, related to this so the first question is what is the likely clinical diagnosis what negative history is important what investigation do we need to do what pre treatment workup must be done what is the medication what are the precautions so it is very obvious a young female who has polyarthritis of small and large joints in dip is spared it is likely to be clinically a rheumatoid arthritis now coming to what negative history is important why i have included this here is because such kind of presentation can have a lot of differential diagnosis and for every patient who presents to us with polyarthritis we must ask these things because such kind of arthritis can be present in sle or lupus it can be present in sjogren syndrome or it can be present in mixed connective tissue disease so this whole list of fever oral ulcers hair loss rash and the list is in front of you you can just go through it all of these features can be present in a patient of sle or a sjogren syndrome or mixed connective tissue disease so if you come across a patient who has these things better to look to start evaluating on those lines or maybe she a rheumatologist or a physician should be uh, taken aboard to manage such kind of a patient so moving next what are the investigations which we do hemogram kidney liver function inflammatory markers are mandatory to evaluate any arthritis i have also written rheumatoid factor and anti ccp these are the uh, antibodies which are associated with the presence of rheumatoid arthritis you can also include anti nuclear antibody here why because just like we discussed in previous slide that these many extra article features can be present so if you are suspecting lupus you must do an anti nuclear antibody as well all these patients must must be evaluated for hypothyroidism with a tsh and diabetes screening must be done because you may be using steroids for some of them hypothyroidism is the most common endocrine abnormality which is associated with autoimmune rheumatic diseases every patient must be screened at baseline for this a lot of these patients will also have anemia anemia in our country the most common cause is iron deficiency but when it comes to inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or lupus then anemia of chronic disease becomes very important so we must evaluate with b12 folate and serum iron studies including ferritin so that we can address the issue of anemia and manage it appropriately chest x ray is needed before starting dmarts we must be sure that because young young females are involved they are not having any pregnancy at that point of time we when we are ordering the x rays hepatitis b and c is a mandatory uh, test to be done before starting methotrexate or any dmarts or biological dmarts so it is essential even if we are not suspecting them to be present just to rule out a chronic carrier state vitamin d deficiency has to be addressed if we have to treat the deficiency because vitamin d deficiency is known to cause aches and pains and it is also known to predispose to rheumatoid arthritis so now moving further what is the medication of choice uh before that before that yeah before that let me just briefly discuss about the diagnostic criteria the classification criteria for rheumatoid arthritis why it is important here is the previous criteria said that the patient must have symptoms for 6 weeks or more but this 2000 acr ular criteria made it very clear that you can diagnose patient of rheumatoid arthritis early and you can treat early so that long term outcome of disease is better there is no uh, deformities or later complications of the disease so here you can see the joint distribution i'm not going to talk about that i am talk going to talk about the serology which is written in the second red block so you can see if it is negative you give a score of 
if it is low positive rheumatoid factor or low positive anti ccp you give a score of 2 what does low positive mean low positive mean more than the upper limit normal but less than 3 times the upper limit normal and high positive means when it is more than 3 times the upper limit normal so if the titer is very high you are going to give a higher score acr ular criteria has also included the symptom duration so that means even if a patient has disease duration of less than 6 weeks the patient may get zero points but if the total score becomes six or more we can still diagnose the patient as rheumatoid arthritis so let